Hey guys, Gay Retard here, bringing you another episode. What the? Oh my gosh. I'm not a gay retard anymore. <gasps> I'm not a gay retard anymore. <gasps> Obviously, I'm no longer afflicted with the gay retard syndrome. However, I have picked up a new syndrome, and that is wearing shirts that don't represent the video platform that I use on internetwebsites.com slash URL syndrome. Maybe I am a retard still. Fuck. Today, the piece of crap that we're going to be looking at is called Anastasia. A Breaking Bad sequel? Without even clicking the play button or reading the description of this project, we can tell that it's a piece of shit just by looking at the thumbnail, which depicts Walter White with none other than Slash behind him. Fucking Slash. Hi, I'm Larry Shepard, and I'm the maniac behind Anastasia. Anastasia is a show that was created by me, about two U.S. Marshals. They're an elite fugitive team that go out and catch the bad guys. Hopefully starring Val Kilmer. Video disclaimer, Val Kilmer will not appear in Anastasia. Okay, well, all right then. Slash from Guns N' Roses, Laura San Giacomo, Video disclaimer, Laura San Giacomo graciously declined the invitation. So now I'm to assume that Val Kilmer didn't graciously decline the invitation. He basically just said, fuck off, you retard. Okay, well, now that we're left with our A-list talent like Slash, I guess we're ready to start filming, guys. <laughs> okay, here's a little bit of a spoiler alert for any of you guys who haven't seen Breaking Bad yet. I highly recommend you do, and uh, don't get spoiled because he's about to spoil it because his movie picks up where Breaking Bad left off, so I'm gonna say in detail how it all ends. Here we go. Anastasia picks up where Breaking Bad left off. If you remember, Walter White's laying right there on the floor, and there was a police officer that was left at his feet. And then the other officers moved forward and went past the Quonset hut into the back. Four seconds later, here comes this figure coming in. We don't know the gender. We don't know who it is. We just see them bend down and grab Walter White by the ankles and drag him out. There's going to be a little blood smear left. Oh, you're going to have a little bit of a blood smear, huh? Just a little bit of a, a nice little blood smear. Just at the end. Did you see a nice little blood smear at the end? Oh, that is, that is high production value there. Well, let me... Let me analyze this high production value crisis that this guy is faced with. Now, uh, what you're essentially doing by making this $100,000 uh, pilot is you're piggy piggybacking off a show that had a huge fucking budget in comparison to your piece of shit. Now, this is essentially tantamount to uh, a, a fan-made movie after the series of Lord of the Rings movies. It's like, yeah, Peter ba Jackson and this crew of a million people made this huge fucking movie, and now we're just gonna see if we can't do a similar thing with fucking two dollars and a shoestring? So what this project essentially is, is a guy who just can't stand the fact that a show came to an end. He just can't live with himself because it was such a good show, and he can't let bygones be bygones. He has to fuck it up in every way imaginable. Oh, a great show came to an end? Well, fuck it. I gotta be involved with it somehow. I gotta keep this feeling alive that I had while watching the show. So I'm going to pursue this, even if it means I'm going to destroy every aspect that I liked about this show from the start. I'm going to rename the shit Anastasia. I'm going to cast a whole new group of people who are not directed by what made that show great and not written by the writers who made that show great. It should be really fun. Uh, look at Breaking Bad, Jesse calling people bitch. Nobody had any idea that was going to get as huge as it was. I saw an interview the other day. He was on the streets in, in Europe, and this old lady came up to him and says, Call me a bitch. Please, call me a bitch. Look at Jesse saying bitch. No one had any idea bitch was going to take off like it did. Oh, man, people were wearing bitch hats and bitch t-shirts calling their grandma bitch. Hey, little bitch. Hey, big bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Everyone just loved it. It sold... It sold the show. That was the reason the show was great, because Jesse said bitch a lot. The last six years or so, I've gotten kind of critical. I haven't liked the writing in a lot of my favorite shows and movies. My wife says it's grumpy old man syndrome. But Big Bang Theory, I'm a huge fan of Big Bang Theory. I think the writers died in December 2012. I mean, Raj, he comes out of his inability to talk to women because he's sad. Did you stay awake late nights trying to come up with that one? I'm, I'm really having a hard time with this one, because Big Bang Theory is fucking terrible. 
it's been terrible since season one to whatever fucking season it's on now. It is just the worst. And I don't care if you disagree with me. You're allowed to disagree with me. There's a lot of bad shows that people watch, all right? The Real Housewives, I'm not exempting any from it. Honey Boo Boo, don't get me started. But as far as shows that are actually written, that is a fucking terrible show. I just, please, don't watch it. Don't watch it. I know that I'm, I'm really fighting demographics here because guaranteed the majority of people who are probably watching my shit watch Big Bang Theory, but it is it's so fucking bad. Now, he has linked all these articles that have done write-ups about his project. Uh, one of the articles reads, Some genius is kickstarting a Breaking Bad sequel starring Val Kilmer and Slash. I think he took that literally. I think he actually thought the person who wrote the headline legitimately thought that he was a genius. After seeing all the media attention that this Kickstarter project got, I had to make sure that I wasn't alone in thinking that it's a piece of trash. So uh, I just went to one of the articles and read the first comment that I saw, and uh, I was delighted to see that, that uh, they were on the same page as me. They said, This was so fucking delusional and ignorant, I think I had a small stroke. For $20, you will receive all of the above, and you will be mailed an Anastasia t-shirt. Let's take a look at what the Anastasia t-shirt looks like. This is the beautiful t-shirt that you will be delivered if you pay $20. This, keep in mind, is a t-shirt for a show about cooking crystal meth. For $10,000, you will get a prominent speaking role in the movie. Here's the scene. It's Halloween and you're giving out candy to the trick-or-treaters at your front door. It's your choice if you want to be in costume. Slash and Jen are going through the neighborhood and they stop at your house. In addition to appearing in the pilot, you'll receive a framed copy of the page in the script that includes your line. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you are actively making your movie shittier by allowing people to pay for a role in the movie. It's, it's the most counterproductive thing I could possibly imagine. The risks and challenges are like two fucking pages long, and there's really no rhyme or reason to any of it. He mentions Pendulette for some stupid fuck-all reason, and uh, he, he details his plan, what his plan is. But his plan is bullshit. It's, it's as bullshit as every other plan on Kickstarter. Everyone has a plan. The problem is, can you execute that plan? What are the risks involved in your plan, you dumb fuck? In closing, I would like to say that this is a delusional Kickstarter project. This guy just wants to hold on to one of the good shows that has been on TV over the past decade. It was a good show. I'm not bashing the show. It was a good show. But I, the, the difference is, I will let a show come to an end because every good story needs to have a fucking ending. That's the reason why so many of these goddamn shows turn out to be just the fucking worst, is they're like, well, we still want to earn a paycheck, so let's keep this gravy train rolling. No, fucking end it ASAP, and uh, you can move on to the next project. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, TV, and remember to tune in next time when I punch a Paul Pollock. I'ma be all the planes and turds. I'ma be the plane with the chick. Parentheses, so plain. I'ma be spreading my hands and I'm gonna be... Check this shit out. That's my wiener. It's my wiener, guys. It's always, I always, you know, use my finger and I press it out of frame because it's, uh, well, it's, it's an intimidating wiener, isn't it? Look at that thing. It's long. Fuck, that's like nearly as long as my uh, my thumb to my index finger, man. That's that's impressive. You guys wish you could have an articulating wiener. Yeah, dude, this thing's con constantly hard. It's hard 24-7. I don't, like, fuck. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. And that's just 20%. There's a whole lot more here. Whole lot more. Also, it's also, my wiener comes out of my rib cage. I don't know if you guys care to know that, but fun fact.